Learn Tally online easily at Tally School. Hi, Rishit Shah from Tally School, and in this video, I'm going to explain you about stock items, stock groups, and units of measure in Tally. So these three things together are considered to be the inventory management in Tally. And in simple words, if I want to say what it is, it is stock maintenance in Tally. Almost every business has a stock and you can maintain that in tally very efficiently and very effectively so how you can maintain them you can maintain them via the inventory info which you can see here this menu contains everything what i'm going to do in this video is i'm going to create certain stock items i'm going to create stock groups i'm going to create units of measure and I'm going to explain you how you can create it too and use it too. So let's say, for example, you have electronics business, you have mobiles, you have screen guards, you have chargers, cables, everything. So mobile, screen guard, charger, cable, these are stock items. And you can also group them like mobiles for a mobile group and screen guard, charger, cables for accessories group. So that way you can maintain stock easily and you can separate them according to the groups they belong to this will be easy for you to check stocks for your staff to check stocks and this all can be done in tally in fact you can also check opening balance closing balance consumption that is how much sales you make how much profit you make on the sold stock everything you can see in tally and it is very simple even if you don't know accounts, you can still maintain a stock in Tally. So it is that simple. So let's start with creating units of measure first of all. So what is units of measure? Units of measure is the number or the liter or the kg. These are all units of measure. So as we have taken the previous example, electronics, you have mobile, cable, chargers, everything. So that can be counted and they are in numbers so for that units of measure is number so for example you will say I have 25 mobiles I have 50 screen guards 55 charger cables everything so that is a number so let's take another example you have a dairy business you sell milk and milk products so in this case your units of measure can be liter that is 30 liters of milk in stock today or 25 liters of ice cream so that is units of a measure. The term is big, but the meaning is simple. So from gateway of tally, you go to inventory info and we are creating units of measure numbers. So go to inventory, <coughs> sorry, after going to inventory info, come down to units of measure and go in there and then enter on create. Now, the first option is symbol that is the name of your units of measure so in this case I'm going to create number because then I'll be creating mobile and accessories for the stock items so that will be number and formal name just leave it blank for the formal name it has no use now for the basic number of decimal places now this means the number of decimal places you want to have so let's say you want to you have some kind of stock in which you calculate like 30.54 kg or 15.16 kg so that 0.16 or 0.54 are the decimal places i recommend you generally keep two decimal places so you can have 0 0.00 even if you don't use them for better clarity so two decimal places and press enter to create the unit so we have easily created the units of a measure. Now let's go back by pressing escape and come back to the inventory info menu. Don't go out to the gateway of tally. Come back to the inventory info. Now we'll be creating stock items. So as I've written down in the post, I'll be creating mobile, earphone and screen guards. So I'll be creating 25 mobiles worth 15,000 each 50 
earphones worth 400 each and 55 screen guards worth 200 each so let's create that stock items i'll create one by one slowly so you can really learn that how you can create that too so go to stock items then under single stock item press create and then the name of the stock item in this menu will enter all our details so first of all let's say mobile and select this primary group i'll explain the group thing at the end of this video so just select primary primary is a predefined group in tally so if you don't have created any group i have in this case previously i have created s but if you don't have created any group primary will be there so select primary and this is where the units come to help which we have just created a minute ago so unit means a number we have created number how many number of mobiles or how much number of mobiles we have so number <coughs> units which we have just created now as i said opening balance we will add the quantity of 15 mobiles oh sorry 25 mobiles and the rate will be 15000 per mobile let's take it for example so in total it will be 15000 per unit and 25 mobiles 375000 or 375000 rupees worth of mobiles so press enter and if you have noted this amount gets automatically calculated by tally as soon as you enter quantity and rate so you don't have to worry about entering this value so press enter and before pressing enter this is the opening balance which we are entering so if you have any opening balance you can enter it here while creating your units in tally if you don't have opening balance leave all this blank so we have entered the opening balance and i'll press enter to save it press enter once again so we have created mobile in the same way we'll create earphones and group will be primary once again units will be number as we've created that quantity is 50 rate is 400 so in total we have 20,000 rupees worth of earphones and 50 units in quantity so as you can see we are already having the note of our stock or inventory how much is the rate how much is the quantity and this rate is your cost this is not the rate at which you are selling this is your cost so you can you have to add profit upon this and then you have to sell this so we have already created mobile and now press enter to create earphones and save it so i've saved it now we will create screen guards so screen guards in the name and press enter select primary units once again select number quantity 55 rate is 200 and value is 11,000 so this is it we have created screen guards stock item also so press enter and press accept I've already written all the details of this video in the post which i've linked below in the description if you want to see what i've written and i've also explained very easily by writing it so if you want a written thing or if you want to just read it instead of watching video you can also go ahead to tallyschool.com i've below linked in the description so you can click on that link and go to tallyschool this post will appear and you can read them silently or easily if you don't want to watch the video and if you want to watch the video you can watch the video too you can also read that you can also print that post for your future use or save as pdf whatever you want to so coming back to the video we have created stock items we have created units of measure so this is very easy as you've already known we have how easily i've created this I can create all this in less than a minute if I don't have to explain you because it is very fast and very easy to create stock items in Tally. 
now let's go back and have a look at stock summary which is a good menu in tally to tell you about how much stock we have so let's go back by pressing escape and come to gateway of tally gateway of tally and come down to reports and under profit and loss account you will see stock summary so press enter so what this does is <clears throat> What this does is it basically shows you every stock or every stock item or with all the stock details in one single screen. So this is it. Just ignore this S. Earphones 50, 400 rupees and 20,000 total. So mobiles 25, 15,000, 375,000 total. 55 quantity of screen guards 200 rupees per unit and total 11,000 rupees. So we can see here completely how much stock we have, the quantity, the closing balance and the value of total. And down here you can see the total, all of the total units and all of the total number of value we have. One more thing I want to show you is that you can easily show the profit or you can easily see the profit of all your stocks going out and coming in with opening balance and sales as I've said earlier in this video so how you can do it just press F7 simply F7 or click here so I'm pressing F7 okay so you can see here quantity rate value consumption gross profit and percentage of gross profit so this is outwards what this means is the quantity of stock that is going outwards that is sales so anything going outwards will, re will be recorded here and anything you have will show up in the closing balance so this is how stock management in tally is it is very simple very easy and you can have a look at everything in one screen now let's talk about stock groups so let's come back to the gateway of tally so what are stock groups as I already told you that it is the grouping of different products for easy management of stock you will not see the importance if you have four or five products but when you have thousands of products you will definitely see the importance because you don't want to search every product by writing that name you will directly go into the group and directly will have the products listed that's very easy and effective way to maintain stocks whether it is tally or not so now we'll go to inventory info from gateway of tally and we'll create stock groups so the first option is stock groups and under single stock groups and to create now I'll create a mobile stock group so the name will be mobiles and we can also create a group under a group that's advanced topic but yes you can do it so for this video let's just create mobiles and leave this to primary and can quantity of items be added put this to no because if we have a group of products to sell like the celebrations by Cadbury they have four or five chocolates in there and so that can be a group of products and they can write here celebration instead of mobiles and they can then select yes so they have five pro five groups or five products in each group so they can have that but that is a bit complicated if you didn't understand just leave it to know this is generally used where we have grouping of products so just keep it to know and create now we'll create another group called accessories for <coughs> our earphone and screen guard so under primary again and no and press enter to create it so we have created two groups called mobiles and accessories now what we'll do is we will edit or alter the stock items and put in put it into the groups so let's come back to the inventory info menu and go to stock items under single stock item 
go to alter and press enter to alter them now we'll alter one by one first let's pick up earphones from the list of stock items <coughs> sorry and under list of groups that is under we will select earphone oh, sorry accessories instead of primary which we have selected before and just press Control plus A to save everything else. Now we will select mobile and press enter. Again under we will select this time mobiles because this is the group of mobiles. So mobile comes under mobiles. Sorry if the matching name is there but it is how it works for the explanation. Sorry. So mobiles and just press Control plus A. Now we'll select screen guards. Just ignore this reliance. I've made it for another video. So screen guards and under it will be accessories once again. You can see here. And just press Control plus A once again. So now we have grouped mobile under the mobiles group and earphones and screen guards under the accessories groups. So now let's go back to stock summary from Gateway of Tele and see how it looks. So let's get back to the Gateway of Tele by pressing escape and go to stock summary. So this is how it looks. If we go to stock summary, accessories, you'll see accessories. You will not see earphones and screen guards as you have seen before in this video. You can rewind this and see how it looks like when I was explaining stock summary. So, if we go into accessories, we can see earphones and screen guards. And if we come back by pressing escape and go into mobiles, we will see mobile. You can certainly add more products in this group and you will see them. So, this is how the groups help. Accessories, mobiles. It is very easy now to manage stocks in Tele because of grouping. You don't have a clutter or long list of products, rather you have groups. And you can easily go in the groups and check everything there is time saving and your productivity will increase so this was stock items stock groups and units of measuring tally this is how you maintain stock in tally if you have any issues you can always comment down below if you're watching this on YouTube, comment the, on YouTube and I'll be happy to help. If you are watching this on TeleSchool, you can comment on TeleSchool as well and I'll be very much happy to help you ahead. So if you have any suggestions, any single doubt which you think is a silly one also, you can comment down below and I'll answer it. I was at one time like you and I learned by asking so ask in the comments and I'll be happy to answer it all of them for you and if you love this video if you learn something new in this video please share it it will help me as well as it will help the people with you share so share this video on Facebook on YouTube on Google Plus on Twitter wherever you want to just share it and it will help them it will help me and thank you for watching. This is Rishit Cha signing off from Tally School. Do, 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 do.